check this out. I've kind of always wanted to try cutting hay with the guidance. And I just kind of guessed as to what the measurements would be. And after a few adjustments, I've actually got it working pretty good. The tractor's totally driving itself right now. Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. We are making what is most likely to be our final cutting of hay for 2023. So this is our second cutting down at the valley. Typically we'd have more cuttings down here, but it was such a dry year that even our second cutting, while it does look plentiful, typically this is what our third cut would look like down here. So, as you may be able to tell, we have the John Deere 7920 on the Kuhn FC 4061 TCD. And the reason we have the 79 on the mower for the first time is because I recently had surgery and pushing the clutch in on the 4640 all day long just didn't sound all that pleasing. And uh, still, I, it would have gotten real old real fast. So the 7920 has IVT transmission, which makes it extremely easy to drive. Uh, no clutch required and so far I'm absolutely loving it on the mower. It, it runs it great. It's a good match for it uh, The one thing that we got going against us with using the 7920 is that the tractor is narrowed up for 30 inch rows so what we get which honestly isn't even bad compared to some of the other passes that we've had it really depends on the heaviness of the material um, the other day when I was cutting with this, uh, I wasn't running over any of the material because I was windrowing it and uh, it was throwing it inward enough where the tractor wasn't running it over. And uh, now that we have so much material down here, the tractor, when it flails out in certain spots, the tractor does tend to run it over on the outsides, which is less than ideal. But uh, so far in every other aspect, the tractor is running great. The reason we're windrowing this is because they're calling for a chance of rain tonight and tomorrow. So we're running out of time to get this made before harvest. And we wanted to cut this and see what the weather does because we've been getting faked out a lot by the weatherman. While we're not that great weathermen ourselves, we decided that we're gonna cut this down and uh, see what the weather does. If it does get rained on, hopefully, it really shouldn't deteriorate the crop that much if it rains into tonight because the material will still be drying down. So the plan is either way to come out and tet it in two days and hopefully that'll let the ground dry out enough um, where the material is not that when we go through and tet it out it'll help dry it down faster regardless of whether or not it gets any rain. That's the current plan so far the tractor and mower combo is running great. Uh, typically we wouldn't want to have the duels on when we're mowing, but uh, being as that we are windrowing it, it's really not hurting us too much except for on the headlands because the duels are running where the material is not. So the only thing that's really hitting is the material that's uh, in between the tires that we're driving over. Hopefully midweek we can get back down here and round bale this stuff. So what do you say? We keep on going.
that is that for our last mowing video of the year. So with that, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And with that, I'll see you soon when we start baling the hay down here. See you next time.